We return to the bonfire. The Sirius XM Faction Talk 103. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. We're talking about preachers discovering witches. 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 All right, let's watch this preacher. Greg Locke is his name. We got first and last names of six witches that are in our church. And you know what's strange? Three of you are in this room right now. Bitch, get out! He smacks the microphone on the thing. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Three of you in the room right now. I like a preacher. You guys doing Andrew Schultz You better look in my preaching. eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. Ooh. You devil-worshiping Satanist witch. Ooh. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Ooh. We break your spells. Yeah, this guy, we pause it. This your... guy's wearing his outside jacket like he just popped in for a guest set. Yeah, dude, he's doing an Intel. I'm surprised he doesn't have black gloves he's on and he's drinking goes, coffee. They're like, oh, Greg, Greg, you want to get up there and fucking... You, you got bl- anything new? He you want to go fucking bless the mic? He goes, yeah, dude, I got this fucking witch. I'm getting ready to fucking... Yeah, yeah. Goes, hold bring, on, me hold up, bring me up, bring me up, but don't, guys, don't say special guest. Do you guys? Like do you guys know? Yeah, if you could say, you know, like Lamb of God, blah blah blah. Also, do you know anyone else that's doing stuff about like witches? They're here. Witches, you're here. There's three of them in the room right now. Three of them in the. Is anyone doing that? Okay. And then maybe like a thigh smack. He calls other like, preachers like a tell calls. Yeah, he goes, hey, man, preach check. Anybody doing stuff about letter to the Corinthians? <laughs> being more like, what if they were texts? Like, how would they get the letters, you know? Like, if Jesus had a smartphone? Okay, I'm going to go run it. I'm going to go run it down at the lakeside. I'm going to go run it down at lakeside. Didn't even take the jacket off. You got to earn it. Yeah, pull it all the way back, Christine. That almost looks like the Wawa jacket that that camper got. You want to go from the beginning? Yeah, let it rip. You got first and last names Uh of six witches that are in our church. Bitch better get out. you know strange? Three of you are in this room right now. Two of you are menstruating. I'm, I can smell it like a bear. I'm looking at you, Darlene. I can smell your pussies like I'm multiple migs. Uh, boom, you're a witch. You go. got a bloody puss. Now, a witch might do something crazy and tell your wife <laughs> that you hit on them and they did not reciprocate that. Oh. The, because that's what witches do, make up lies. This dirty witch might say that. Somebody was stealing from the church funds, but they're dirty bitches. He's getting ahead of himself on just a bunch of yeah. things he did. Also, the witch might say, you parked in a handicapped spot, but you don't have a sticker, and I would say you're a dirty witch. I got your name, bitch. One of these witches might say some crazy shit like, he's been... I saw him stealing out of the collection plates. And I would crazy say... Crazy witch, bitch. Get out! I got your name. First and last. Give it a tap. Give it a tap, tap, tap. Give it a tap, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a football coach. He really does. Three of you in the room right now. Oh! Hands in pocket, dude. Casual. Looking, two of you got wet pussies because I just brought you up. Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> Feel that? It's your lips quivering. Your two of you like two in the pig, one in the stick. <laughs> one of you just does anal. First date. Freaking bitch. <laughs> We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. Yo. You devil worshiping Satanist witch. Pull that back, cast- Christine. Pull that back for drop sakes. Lou, let's get some of these on wax. Okay. <laughs> Three of you in the room right now. You better look in my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. You devil worshiping Satanist witch. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. I got your social security number. I got your Netflix sign in. I know where your kids go to school. I know everything about you. Your favorite kinds of cereal, you dirty witch. By the way, I know we can't really hear. He is killing. Oh, he's murdering. Killing. No, you can hear. Break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. We even got an address for one of you. All right, that would... Where you're like, so- are you harassing people? You know witches aren't real. <laughs> you want to be like... a crazy threat. Hey, dude. Goes, so it's like every girl in that place goes, am I one of the six? Am I the one he has the address for? <laughs> yeah. like, keep looking at your blog. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to cape fear you, you witch. I'm going to hang under your car, and wherever you go, I'm going to be there. Pop on up, laughing like De Niro at the movie theater. Pastor Locke, what are you doing on our vac- at our vacation house? Are you all tattooed up? Yes! Ah, oh, cape fear! <laughs> You're just sitting there. Is that Pastor Locke watching a problem child in the oh! theater? Oh! <laughs> 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 Pastor Locke, are you following us around doing weird stuff? Maybe. 
Witch! So much is cough wrong, and I'll expose you in front of everybody in this tent, you stinking witch. Why well, would not just do that from the get-go? Yeah, aren't they witches? Shouldn't they be exposed? He goes, but until then, go in peace. Just know we got your address. Keep bringing me my yodels <laughs> and my Arizona iced teas. I won't expose you, you witch. There's pe- do you think there's people in the audience that think there's witches? Yes, I believe most of them are. I believe do you think there's some people in the audience. He's killing with he's, this. Yeah, they're losing their shit. They're so the, excited. Yeah, like, you're hearing him. He's in a tent, first of all. You know how hard it is to kill in a tent? Jay and I have done comedy in tents. Not easy. Not easy at all. This guy's like, this is like destroying a gathering of the Juggalos. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> destroying. Dest- and doing no ICP humor. No, that's fucking. Tough. Yeah, you're like wearing a suit, and going <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, this guy's murdering. This guy's killing with a jacket on in a tent. He Talk about it. witches. He didn't take his fucking spring jacket off. Yeah, not even. Probably like, a nice guys, 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 I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to do a bunch of shit up here. I just want to point out a couple of witches <laughs> in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Doris. Dude, going up and being like, you guys ready to see some shit? <laughs> I'm about to rock this tent. He goes, all right. He goes, ah, uh, just goes. Give me the light at 12. I'll probably do like 20, though. Hey, when you hear me get to the I know where you live, I'm coming for your evil spirit, that's going to be me. That's my closer. That's kind of my, yeah, I'm, I'm um, dipping out after just, that. Just get ready to get, you know, I'm going to get off soon after that. You were sent to this church to destroy us. You were sent to this church to lure us in. You were sent to this church to cast spell. Listen, it's some of you absolutely sent- reading like he fucked a girl that said she's about to blow up his spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's one hundred percent reading that yeah though. that he fucked three women on his on the side and now he's like I got juicy gossip they're witches I got your address I might have blown a load on one of your couches yeah he's gonna that's telling me to he, suck me off when I'm watching the weather we had sex last Wednesday he goes I lost time last Wednesday I blacked out. I was in prayer and I woke up. You did some witch shit to me. Didn't oh my you? god, I had steamy you had, pants. You witch, you witched me up a, a boner for oh, your beautiful you, fucking crazy body. You did that witch thing where you put my hard boner between your big witchy boobs, <laughs> flapping around all oh, supernaturally and, you, and, and whatnot. You, and you go up and down, up and down, and look at me, and I go, witch, get on. This guy clearly just fucked someone else. He rules. <laughs> Cause you befriended that witch. Two of you in my wife's ladies' Bible study, and you know who you are, and we going to ask there, you to get out. Oh. So if you're asked to get out, obviously. Dude, if you're asked to get out. Of a Bible study, you're going to, you guys think I'm a witch? If you're, I mean, like, how fast that person is going to realize that organized religion, generally speaking, is horse shit. Yeah. It's all when you do power, that. It's all power grabs. Because the person's not going to be a witch. Yeah. So. Uh, what if they are, though? It's just a woman one. with a hook nose and a word on it. And she's, hey, got, and she's like. He goes, all right, you know what? I will call that one. Tina, yeah. get up here. And she's like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've been exposed, my goes, pretty. I'm going to say it right now. Vermuda is a witch. And she's like, <laughs> ah, did you know? <laughs> 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 Come with me, Azriel. Uh, You have upset me, Pastor Greg. I was in your wife's Bible study. She cooked our children into a pie. Our our fat, cute children. (laughs) She fed them. Kept feeding them. Turned them into pie. Pie. Oh, she was over at all. He's our just house. saying this because uh, he tried to have sex uh, with me and I did asked, not reciprocate. He said, I bet your tits not as cold in a brass bra. <laughs> He's making this witchcraft yeah. nonsense oh, We dry humped at the Christmas party and he's weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> have you met my cat, Octavius? Are you sure about you? I realize I have an unfortunate look. Oh, <laughs> I can see how I am <laughs> not a witch. <laughs> I can see how this looks to everyone else. But you gotta understand. This was my great grandmother's pointy hat. Oh. And son of a bitch, if I don't have my dad's nose. Check, check Fashion Week. This is all in right now. Why do I have a broom to clean up? Stripey socks. Oh, well, it's you're just a thing. Oh, he's being silly. <laughs> Witch, Mitch. Oh, I'm not a witch. Oh, I live up on that cabin on Spooky Hill. <laughs> I'm just doing that one uh, woman being like. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'd be such a funny, like, Family Guy style cutaway. Just go to the vlog and just, like, just one person, they're very witchy, yeah. just holding a broom and goes, Yeah, I'm 
<laughs> you've never yeah, seen this. No. No, 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 no. It's not me. I probably. know where you are. Guess what? One of you is on my bowling team. <laughs> Haven't been picking up those stairs. <laughs> lot of open frames. <laughs> a lot of open frames. A lot of evil open frames. Open frame doesn't carry you over into the next frame. It's almost useless. And that's how we lost to the Muslims last week <laughs> in our religious bowling league. There's only three teams. We don't let in polytheistic religions. <laughs> Fuck those people. We got all six of their names. Since this started? All six of them. Oh, six. Two of them had already been confirmed for that thing ever even said it. Yep. First and last night, this chick is new to our church and don't know none of you. So you got a choice. You can leave with your spells. Dude, saying this oh. chick is a really funny thing for a pastor to say. Yeah, this chick. This dingy broad's just sitting this here like he doesn't show up. She came up like, lee, 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 lee. what am I in my poison video? Can someone help me off this bus? <laughs> oh, no, I bought this oh. broom on the way here and Ow. didn't have time to take it home You first. guys are This is an unfortunate coincidence. You need to do a little self-reflection. <laughs> this is how I look. I was sick. I actually have cancer. Sir. There, I said it. I'm going through radiation. That's why I'm green. Didn't so, think it was going to come up so, in church. That's why I wear the hat. <laughs> so feel bad now? I'm not a witch. The wart is unfortunate also, yes. Uh, I'm suffering from mesothelioma, <laughs> and I'm fighting it. And now you guys have to feel bad. I didn't want you to push it to this place. Miss, I'm sorry I called you, which I didn't know you were dying. Uh, no, I'm living, living with cancer. Living. I'm going to... Don't worry. I'll rebound. <laughs> You ain't seen the last of old <laughs> wicked witches. <laughs> yeah, she goes, oh, you know what? Son of a bitch, it's right there. <laughs> this guy really did fuck a woman that he wants out of his church. He goes, some of you are here. Some of you are looking at me going like, is it me? Is it me? You know if it was you. Yeah, you know if it was you if we met up at the Red Roof Inn off 95. <laughs> One of these crazy witches that thinks yes means no. Oh, come on. <laughs> They don't understand when your body's saying yes, even though your mind's saying no. Oh, you had a couple glasses of wine talking about Jesus starting to kiss, and then she wants to stop it. That's a witch. One of these witches here probably going to tell my fat wife what I said to him. Oh, you <laughs> bitch. You better not say nothing in their Bible study tomorrow. <laughs> he rules. You can leave with your spells okay. all by yourself. Or I'll show up next Sunday all right. with a stage full of brooms. And I'll give you one, and I'll fly your tail up out of this place in the name of Jesus, but we ain't playing your spell casting. Does he not, ho crab, Does he not no? know how which broomsticks work? Also, why would you buy that many brooms just to give one away? Just bring one. Just bring one and give it to him. Or six. Is, you say you know they're all six. He's are six. He, goes, he says he's going to win brooms. and so can give it to him so then fly him out of here. Is he, this guy believes the witches are not even like, a rel he thinks it's broomstick witches. Yeah. It's not even like evil intentions. <laughs> this guy's so it's people who believe in like, uh, you know, Jacob, we watch Supernatural. A lot of times, a witch was just a person. They just studied uh, whatever of that like, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot it wasn't of herb like, work. like he's talking about like a, lot a of green herb work. <laughs> huh? It's a, a lot of herb work. work. <laughs> a lot of herb work. Uh, <laughs> That's a great explanation for witchcraft. <laughs> Guys, yeah, it's, it's a lot true. of herb work. <laughs> yeah, a lot of odd ingredients. Stuff know, you can't really get in the common market. I'd say it's more meddling with the herbs than it is evil. It's two shops at wet markets, which is... Yeah, I, at any moment he could be like, it's not even October. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you have Halloween witches. Yes, that's all he's thinking about. Yeah. He's talking about a green-faced, wart-nosed, we long-finger fucking... Here with a cat. Fly in a pumpkin in a all the time. I'll fly. By the way, but he's like, I'm going to get brooms and fly out of here. Do you think he's going to tell the brooms? Brooms, take these girls out of here. Out of here right now. Or, or is he going to put them on a broom and just like, give them like a one, two, yeah, three? Yeah, give them the Shut Uncle them. Phil. Jazzy Jeff them. <laughs> I don't understand why they're not more serious. Jazzy than Jeff them on a broom. He goes, ah, three down, none of them flying. There he goes. All right, let's try this next one. That last one might have fucked up Oh my, my God, lower. Greg, please. I swear Stop. to God, I'm not a witch. This is absolutely stupid. Stop. All right, here. Yeah. I was vegan in college. Why are you doing that? <laughs> I'm not going to tell anybody that you tried to hold my hand in an elevator. Oh, my God, dude. So what? You were drunk and tried to kiss me. Preemptive strap, bitch. You're a witch. <laughs> Another witch. Nuke them till they glow. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty witch. <laughs> Sage burning games. 
Oh no! Sage, open, wait, bring that back. You said sage burning. If you bur- we have sage in our house, you witch. Oh no! Witch. I got your address. <laughs> With a stage full of brooms, and I'll give you one, and I'll fly your tail up out of this place say, in the yes. name of Jesus. But we ain't playing your spell casting witchcraft nonsense, sage burning games. Everybody okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Feel alright. <laughs> Witches are like, nope. And your little dog too. You're out, witch. He, he's got, dude. he's got no even like historical religious no. idea of what straight, witches are. He's doing straight up Wizard of Oz witches. <laughs> that's that's witch. the witch. That's his he's only a experience. That's his he, only experience. He thinks it's like the fucking Snow White giving that. I don't want your apple, witch. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. there's actually, there's like probably like a, a serial killer just in the crowd. He's like, I mean, he's not even brought me up. He goes, Does he mean me? He goes, God's just talking about a bunch of herbalists. <laughs> I'm the Crystal Creek Strangler. <laughs> and this guy doesn't even know. I've been sending him clues. I've been killing people in this parish for fucking years. I carve one new letter of my first name into the hearts of every one of my victims. I'm a show killer. I put the bodies into very disgusting poses. I'm, put, I'm doing it in order with the words, but there's some reason jumbling them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm telling him the clues. He goes, I look at their board, and it's just like, Yaj. <laughs> Who is Yaj? Yeah. She's got to flip to two letters. Just man. do it, Try, dude. Jay. Try. Try, <laughs> Jay, if he is Yaj. It. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to go I'm going to go canvas the area again. <laughs> you guys remember Tanya? She grabbed my dick over my pants. Time to call her a witch. <laughs> hey, witch. Dude, this guy. Uh, by the way, I can watch this guy's whole sermon. By the way, me too. this is just this is just a highlight of him. He's like, hey, he's like they're sitting here right now. I goes, can you look every, him up? Every, everybody okay? The witches are sitting here. I'll go and like, oh no, yeah. why? Like, what? Aren't they evil? They're what? just staying. Like, dude, the whole audience should be looking around the room for the witches. I would be like, can you call them out now if they have horrible intentions for us? Can we find out who they are? No. I'll give them a chance to leave on their own. It's, it's always so cryptic. They don't have really have to do anything. I could snap my fingers right now and they'd disappear like Thanos. <sighs> I'm but, Thanos. I'm God Thanos. But I'm going to give them one more chance to leave on their own, not tell anybody who they are. What if the person stops coming to the church because they're the witch, but they stay friends with somebody who's in the church still? Isn't it still poisoning the well? It's so... In order for this guy... Everybody in that audience who's cheering, Dan, like... Do you know the chance they might be making a decision one day on like your home loan? Yeah. Or your isn't that fucking crazy? Or to revive you? <laughs> to they're, revive they're, you? It's uh, a nurse. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ! I mean, it's quite, crazy. quite Is he drinking a coffee in front of the cut? Now, there's my two religions. Am I right? Caffeine and God. Is Let's there hear that anybody? Second video. Is there anybody who preaches this that ever means that you think, or they're just performers who learn how to perform a thing? I bet there's people that that have tricked themselves into believing it. This guy doesn't. You think? I think he believes this. That there's witches in the audience. Do you think that really? Yeah, I think he hypes himself up. But you think same way, the same way that same way when you were younger and you could hype yourself up to tell a girl that you're going to fuck her all night, knowing damn well that you're going to blow your load and want to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> he does this with like God, and he like whips himself into a frenzy. Oh yeah, well when you see, he just knows the words to say. It's just kind of yeah. bullet point words to say. But I'm saying, Do you're saying, does he believe it? No, like, no, he knows there's not a thing as witches. Yeah, it's probably a woman the that world. there's women. Women, I tend women, to believe women. these guys are the least believe. Like the only way you could actually do this and pull off like making money and having a life based off robbing people for nonsense mm-hmm. like this is if you like. I think they wholeheartedly don't. You have to not believe it at all to be able to pull off the scam of it. I think, or a part of you has to be so greedy and broken that you're like, I'll believe it when I'm around them. Like the same way that uh, people can like, like Bernie Madoff. Can like run this Ponzi scheme, and at the same time telling these people like, take this money out, pay them, and keeping it going, and like to keep that going, I think you have to have a part of you that's like so greedy that you're like, I could I could say whatever I need to them to their face. But I think this guy doesn't believe. Oh, I bet he, I, I'd argue this guy's not religious. Well, let's see. Uh, he believes his mission wholeheartedly. He let's really see that's. I want to see that second war. Yeah, okay. let's see that second video. I just want to see. Yeah, exactly. a war of what? Witches and people? I don't know. Here we go. Ready? No. Of they tried to ideolo- scare us. Ideology now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's war shit. He's he he talks in all battles. I think Jacob's right. I think Osteen talks in success ways. Guess- this guy talks in battles way. Like Osteen's always like, "Give to God is going to give you money." 
He's going to give you lots of money because he loves you. And this guy's like, whoo! He's like a Nike commercial. He's like, are you ready to fight all the time? They Evil's coming for us. Your that, mother might be a demon. A de well, let's see this video. Guys, we always like to let you know what's going on here on the campus of Global Vision. It is officially 6.20 p.m. on Sunday night, and we are still going strong from the 10.30 a.m. morning service. And uh, we still have 20 or 30 people in line. Completely full of shit. Yeah, this guy is just taking money. Just taking money. That hoodie probably cost two thousand dollars. Look people, how nice that hoodie who went, is. People who went to school with him, like if you talk to his high school friends, they think he's a piece of shit. Or high schools, like other kids and, in high school, unless they're getting a cut, he was a piece of shit. I'm just telling you, this guy. You that see, is a nice hoodie. Would have never liked him. Such at, a nice hoodie. <laughs> would have never liked him at any level of my life. He's just a wow. Look at the one of the comments. The first comments. S Spreading fear and conspiracy through hyped up loudmouth preaching is not the Lord's work, but I suspect you'll find that out sooner or later. That would, if I really believed in you know what I was doing and I read that, that would actually kind of freak me out because I'd be like, "Well, you think God's pissed? Like if you thought you were doing the right thing, he's clearly we yeah he's, yeah." I think this guy. My argument is not even that he's not religious; that he's a terrible person. What does the reply say to that? To strange folk dolls. He absolutely says, believes it. The only fear is the fear the demons have of being revealed. Oh, my God. And the only lie is Satan blinding everyone to it. But I really hope you'll find that out sooner, not later. Hang on. Can you do me a favor? Can you click on the picture that girl has? Because I'm pretty sure it's just a picture of her ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like a hot. Yeah. <laughs> she thinks the demons. But her first thing is Jesus is king and blah, blah, blah. But then it's her butt's out. Living sacrificed. Gym owner, and she's a, a dog trainer and group. Death metal oh, vocalist. Justin, let's get her in. She looks like a born again. Yeah, but I bet she's one of those people that's still like, she can find, you know, those churches, they'll take your money if they're like, you can have crazy sex. Just like, the, say sorry to God. Give me money. Yeah. You're forgiven. Yeah, I wonder what their sex things are at those evangelical churches. Like are, that, it always gets around. messy. Yeah. It always gets messy. It's you never just like... You can be whore if you feel bad about it. Yeah. It's never just a guy being like, yeah, my wife and I, you know, we work on it. We work on our intimacy. Sometimes the sex is good and then it goes down. It's never normal like that. It's like, we don't touch because that's how Satan... But I can't have sex with some of the people I preach to because I'm getting the demons out. You have to exercise them with my God jizz. Oh, this is my God stick. <laughs> you want to talk about... I'm not gay no more. That, that's a... I am delivered. Have you seen that guy? I don't like men. No, no his new videos where he's saying like Kim Kardashian needs to be with a man who's delivered. Oh, really? Yeah. No. This guy is still doubling down that he's not gay anymore. Oh, I thought he came out and said like he was gay. He just got caught up in the moment. This is a video I saw of him oh, saying that. It? He was like, no, nah, I just... Was, I would feel much happier. He was my it. first time at that church, and I was just so into it. <laughs> like, if that's the truth, I would feel much better about life if I knew that that guy was like, no, nah, I'm gay. Yeah, I knew what it was. Because it bums me out when those people are just like, nope, clamp on it. Why aren't Derek Gaines and Dave Temple talking about, like, going and having, like, the fake, like, the... Get, catching like, spirit? feeling it? Yeah, like, out of things. It's like, yes, because it doesn't happen. Yeah. It's not real at all. And because if it did happen to you... You'd never be the same. Why do they act? People act like some people just deal with supernatural things, like it's not that big yeah. of a deal. If you could, if you found out you could fly, your life would change. I fucking hate when someone tells us. Oh my god, Dave Grohl said something. Who I love, Dave Grohl. Who doesn't? He told a story on Stern like not long ago. Did you hear that? Yeah. And he was like, when I turned the corner, we were recording in this old house, right? Was where they were recording or something? He goes. There was just a guy, muddy boots, dripping wet, saying something to me, and, and the thing when I turned the corner, and it was just, and it was like, no, nah, nope, he that said, didn't happen. He lived for years in a house with a ghost. Yeah, that's what I mean. No, you didn't. You'd be not okay, and then just- I wouldn't be able to jerk off, and I wouldn't be able to shit comfortably. Yeah, it's, you're watching a, a movie with your family, and he goes, "Oh, it's just Edwin, the old boat ghost that yeah. lives upstairs." He was in a light. He fell to his death in a lighthouse and found his way into this house. <laughs> so, why would you live with them? Yeah, it's just I would leave immediately. It's always nonsense. I, every haunted house movie that's been the thought. The second I would have found out that house is even remotely different, I'd be like, "Get out of here." So, but really, when someone said, "What I what I go hate, get a new apartment in the city," what I hate is someone goes. And then I saw him standing there. It was doing this. He was wearing this. He's blah, blah. And I go, oh, man, you're just like lying to me. 
<laughs> like, this fucking sucks. And I gotta act like, just going like, that's crazy. Do you think you, there's any chance he actually saw that? No! His fucking hair would be white, and he would never stop talking about that only. It's the only <laughs> thing he would talk about for the rest of his life. He'd be like, he'd be like Dave, what about Kurt Cobain? Fuck Kurt Cobain, dude. He goes, I don't guy. know about Kurt Cobain, but I know there's... It, it keeps me up at night. There's, there's a thing Fisher, living here, an entity. Fisherman Phil. He and just walks around in his boots. No one else can see him but me. I hate it. He's dead. They're just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a ghost. Kind of like the dad in Pet Cemetery. It, it comes and goes, goes, oh, good. It worked. Yeah, that was the dad from Pet Cemetery's take on the whole thing. Is oh look at that, it worked. Yeah. Oh my dead cat came back to life. A little angrier, a little full. Uh, it's yep. just like oh look at that, it did work. But then oh, also that crazy thing you said happened to work. But that guy with that huge head injury that's giving me life advice, <laughs> sitting in my bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I just walk past him and go have dinner with my kids. <laughs> Acknowledge him. Yeah. Don't do this, Lewis. Shut up. This weirdo, leave me alone. Shut up, dude. It's not about you right now. That would be a great place to get is so over the fear of ghosts that you can get annoyed by ghosts. The uh, the the actual best acting ever of what your life would be like if you were seeing ghosts is The Sixth Sense. Yeah. It was that kid under covers 24 hours a day afraid to go outside yeah. because he's right. It is, it's a nightmare of a life. Just to see dead people all the time. Grimly, they seem to also be like wearing what they wore when they died or from however they died. It's horrific. So like, that's what I mean, like Dave Grohl. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, funny story. I used to live with a ghost. Funny story. It's not. It's the, it's, you would be your entire identity if that was true. Yeah. Or you would be very upset by it. So anytime someone tells me, he goes, no, I haven't had a ghost before. I just go, well. I just chalked you down a little bit on my friendship list. Damn, like, you're looking me right in the face and lying to me. My all... friend Michelle said that she's seen orbs. And I don't really know exactly what she means by that, but apparently it's some flash of light that you see floating You know, I asked when she said that to me, I go, do me a favor, Michelle, let me put you in a chokehold and tell it again so I can just pretend the blood wasn't going to your brain when you said that nonsense. <laughs> Well, you don't know, dude. She could have been in a female Muay Thai league, and now she's got a little CTE. She just sees orbs of light because Boy. she took too many shots to the frontal lobe. Yeah, I was going to say also, she sees orbs, and it's like, oh, did you Seeing see orbs? Seeing orbs in photos? They're actually spirits of loved ones. I think it's the same thing as, as, as the, by the way, why do people see orbs in their pictures and stuff? It's the same thing when they go, everyone's like, there's no explanation for what's going on with this ship, this unidentified flying object. And then, like, special effects guys... Just do it all. They recreate 100% of it. They're like, yeah, it's very easy to do. It's what about easy. the stuff, though, that was declassified by the Navy that they couldn't explain? The, 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 they, are, they explain it ago. That's what happens with uh, this speed rate camera with camera flares, and then they just redo it. And you're like, oh, of course. Which you don't believe in aliens at it, all. That, that, there's no, we have no contact with them. Or if we do, it's on the highest level, and we don't know about it. No, there's no body at Area 54. Area 51. Area 51. Don't go there, though. I'm more on board Area with 54. aliens. Um, yeah, aliens are real. Ali I mean, the universe is too big. It's ridiculous to think we're the only I think we're also like, life form. I think we're also like little pig monkeys that they just come and watch. And they're I... just like, look at these fucking idiots. And then so what's leave. the use for Jupiter and we don't know. Mars? I don't think our brains can understand it. That's what I think. I think we're beyond... I think we are too small to comprehend what the universe is. The universe, but you think meaning, but you everything think that some, lives in but it. But you think the aliens multiverse. have gotten here. I think, yeah, I'm. I would. I think the aliens have contacted human beings. I think the like with the atomic bomb. I think that set something off with like a fucking no, ant. Gee, this is fucking, very specific. Yeah, dude. I listen to a lot of alien podcasts. You think the atomic bomb brought aliens here? Yeah. I you think don't think when, aliens were I tell you here? That, I've done, maybe, I've maybe done no before, research on this, know. but let me tell you, it didn't. It did. It didn't, though. I think there's people in high government offices that have worked <laughs> high up that would disagree. Wish you could see it all. I'll, dig my, I'll dig my heels in the who, dirt for this one. Who is having that conversation <laughs> with, you. with you? Not with me, but Joe Rogan had a guy on. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, Lord. Oh, my science. God. Are you about to do this? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> is that about to happen for real? What did he say? I was going to fuck around. There was a great show on Netflix called Undocumented. Which is, that was fun, when the guy was basically like, we're trying to redesign what they had. I would say if aliens, here's also, you should know about, which you know about me, if you were like A, B, and C, I'd be like, yeah, that's wrong. I don't know. It was just a feeling I oh, had. Oh, yeah, I don't think you're passionate. No. 
<laughs> I'm passionate about fucking AEW's pay per view on Sunday. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm passionate about Revolution, about Eddie Kingston and Chris Jericho. Woo. But I'm not. I I don't. I also think we're dumb. I think we're dumb monkeys on a rock. And I think like to understand what the don't, universe is. That was he said all of us. I don't like to see Black Lou turn around. You hardly said that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't look because I don't make everything race like you do. I wouldn't either. Because oh, I saw his I head go like this. He went, "What? Yeah, you're a racist, dude. We're here to confront you about it. You always bring it up. <laughs> Humans evolved from monkeys, Jay. What? I don't care that Lou's white. Other Lou. <laughs> uh, again, you're the only one that calls him White Lou. <laughs> I know. DJ White it's Lou. Very weird. <laughs> We're all doing it with nicknames. Now the then... weird one's White Jacob. There's no reason for that. Either. There's only one Jacob. <laughs> but I, I think like uh, I don't think I don't think we know. You know what I mean? Like I think when you die, that's when you figure everything. Like when you're told everything, you're like, "Hey, you guys are just fucking on a rock. Shut up." Yes. My DMT experience <laughs> really made me feel insignificant and pointless. But isn't that just the chemical that releases in your brain before you die? So I feel like it's just kind of like bullshit yeah it's like calming your body down so you could shit yourself and become worm food and evacuate as they call or it or ash yeah well you got to become you know i mean it's hurt me so much when i heard kurt metzger who's so smart say a thing he's like and there's this thing it was talking about dmt it was a thing but it wasn't like it wasn't like god but it was like the idea of god and i was like ground control you're well, you dumb. didn't. I... You know, do, are you completely uh, atheist? No. What's no? I'm more of the. You're the agnostic. Atheist. Yeah. I'm like there, I don't know. A, I yeah, have no a, idea. So you believe you're more agnostic, where you believe there could be a god. I think there's. I am in complete awe and amazement of what people are and the functioning systems they are and how we function. And, uh, I tell you, brother. I'm complete awe. Hey, all, hey, buddy. I hate to tell you, that's the Lord. <laughs> well, what you're feeling right now is the Lord's kiss on this earth. It's pretty fucking amazing. Me, Where we come in how society moves. Give me twenty dollars. Talk to you. Give me twenty dollars, or I'm gonna let you know there's a demon in the room. And I got this demon's address. Okay. So everybody, stop looking at Black Lou again. That wasn't race. You just looked at him and called him a demon. I looked at everybody. I was doing a dramatic sweep, Jay. Uh, quit criticizing my preaching Can you style. You everything about race, please. Can you stop running everything down? As well? race is, just, it, it doesn't even exist to aliens. Can you stop boiling everything on the race. We're the human race. When the aliens come, we're the human race. Ali if aliens are real and they're watching us, they must think that race is very funny to be like Why? they're just different colors of each other. Well, they, and they make fucking... fun of it on Rick and Morty oh, when yeah. they go to other planets and they have like everybody looks the same, but they're all fighting over their tiny little differences. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Rick and Morty, great. Great show. The rules. That's really. what we used to have, like Manhattan Beach locals versus Hermosa Beach locals. Yeah, it's like beach all the trash. fucking same thing. We talked about it on the live show. I don't think we're going to get to it. There was a house party in Aurora, my rival high school, Eagle Crest. 150 kids fell through the floor. Oh, really? It, the floor below them collapsed. I'll, I'll fucking text the story to Christine now. Should I text it to you, Christine? Or DM it. Uh, I will DM it to you. The floor of a house party? Mm-hmm. Damn, that's fucking... That's terrifying. Damn, that kid is never going to live that this down. This is his grandparents' house. This janky-ass fucking shitty house. It was his grandparents' house, and they got... Uh, the address got out on social media, and everyone showed nice up. Nice house, Daruki. Yeah, your fucking Peapaw's <laughs> house fucking collapsed. <laughs> We're having a party, man. I just sent it. It's a video. It's like a dozen. It's like a bunch of kids partying, and then it fucking. One of the kids said, "You just hear the you hear the wood breaking, and then they all collapsed." Damn. Isn't that nuts? Damn. How many people got hurt? Yeah. How many people got hurt? Uh, one. I think there one person's in the hospital. Oh my god, this would never happen at a euphoria party. No, dude, they would all be having sweaty sex perfectly. So much sex. There's 150 teens were partying when the floor gave way. There's video of it. Yeah, I believe somewhere. The homeowners this happened were host to my uh, cousins. Your cousin's house? No, they were at a, a wedding, and the wedding at a, a and the the wedding dance floor collapsed. They died. Go back up to the picture of the house, Christine. So I'll tell you exactly the problem with this. And I think you'll back this up too, homeowners in here. Looking at you, Black Lou. New construction sometimes, man. Shoddy. Yeah. That's the problem. There's not that that floor is a couple of load bearing things on the bottom, and uh, and basically just like wood. Yeah, and it cracked and fucking they fell. That's it. Is this the uh, is this the video? There it is. Wood broke and it fucking. Oh man, dude! dude. Wait, bring it back. 
That's hilarious. That's like in It's a Wonderful Life when the pool opens. Yo, being the kid whose grandparents' house it was, you're like, fuck. like also having to walk by him. And if if you're just okay from the fall and you gotta go, sorry about your grandpa's floor, man. Walk out. He's going, guys, get out of oh, here. That's fucked up. One of the TikToks said, back it up a little bit. That was fucking mean. Fuck you. I take offense from that from being from there. POV. We're just having a good time, but we were rem- we remember we're in Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I hope you broke your fucking femur. Damn, dude, that's got to be terrifying. I mean, you're right, though, the embarrassment. Well, the embarrassment. Here's the thing. Two people were super embarrassed. The kid throwing the party, for sure, is uncomfortable as all hell. For me, uh, I'm going to be looking around waiting for one person to be like, guess Okerson was dancing, oh. and that's going to fucking make me feel horrible oh, about my myself. God. That would hurt. <laughs> Jacob thinks shut that's up, cool. Shut up, evil Jacob. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Did I tell you guys one time? What, oh, what happened? Did Okerson start doing the kid and play routine oh, again? Hey, Okerson, bound I told, to you happen. To, told you not to do the worm in the living room. <laughs> told you it was bound to happen. I was going to a 4th of July party one time, and I was wearing a dress, and I never wore dresses back then. And I was walking up, and a guy hung off the balcony and said, there's a weight limit at this party. Oh. Oof. Oh. And yeah, I just sucks. turned around oh. and walked away, and it was my friend's party, and then they found out, and then they kicked the guy out and made it like a whole thing, oh. and I came back to the party, and everybody oh. was consoling me about oh, it, and worse. I was like, I'm wearing a dress, like oh. I never wear, I, I just felt fat in a dress. Oh no, oh no, you get embarrassed? She's like, why don't you leave, because then we lose 200 pounds of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she laughing or crying, I can never tell. I just turned around and walked away. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's mortifying. Damn. Dude, that guy there's, swatted there's moves your you shit. gotta learn, Christy. I would have turned around and just looked at anybody in the world behind me and been like, right. Like we were talking about that with him. There was a weight limit there. He goes, yeah, Tubbs. Yeah. What's up, guys? And just uh, walk in. Fill me up a cup. <laughs> I'll fucking be up there. You guys better. You guys got beer pong going? You guys better fucking party. Beat a fat turd. One time I walked into it's a- just some, like, It's just some like tall, skinny guy being like, I, I walked into a me? frat party one time uh, with like my friend who said we could go and he was wrong and it was in college and like we walked into like the main area of the house, you know, and there's like all these hot Arizona girls and frat boys and this mm-hmm. fucking alpha just comes out. He goes, who the fuck are you two? Get the fuck out. And I went... What's up? <laughs> I did the look around and he goes, I said, get the fuck out. Who do you know here? And I was like, I'm with him. And my friend looked and he's like, I, Troy? And he's like, get the fuck. And you're just you start like, guessing frat names. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but Rob, Bryce, Cra- Bryson. Crazy Ro- Robbie. <laughs> crazy. Moose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Moose or Dugan. Dude. Dude. Oh, God. oh, oh, oh hula. <laughs> Big cap. Big. Big Patty, Stooge. We just had Stooge. We just had to walk outside. We just had to leave. It sucked so bad. I was like, he like he as he's gone. walking you out, you keep going to go. <laughs> Grayson, Dickerson, Miller. I can't believe you went to. You seem more like you would have gone to the Northeast or something for college. The fact that you went to Arizona, it's just so one like of the hottest girl. Had a condo made of stoner. Oh, yeah, one of the hottest girls at my high school went there. Went there. My friend's sister's friend. My friend's sister's friend, who was like the hottest girl at my school, went there, and I was like, damn, girls like Jackie go to Arizona. And then I was sick of winter. I was sick of cold. Yeah. And Arizona was like on par with University of Colorado as being like a good school. So I was like, I'll go to Arizona. I'll be warm. All the fun. It's Arizona, and I hated it. <laughs> I yeah. moved there. It's hot. hot. Got robbed. I got. Uh, I mean, that was later, but it was all frats. Didn't want to join a frat. Didn't have any money. All the girls wanted guys with money. All the rich kids from San Diego and Long Island were dicks until you lived with a drug dealer. Then they were cool. I was, was like, never I fucking hated it. So I did radio. I did radio and stand up. I was never had a any. Again, I started doing comedy at nineteen too, which mm-hmm. is a big thing. So like, but I never. Uh, was in a world where I would have thought I wanted to go to a frat party. I, but I've never been anywhere near the situation ever. Never been anywhere near. It was. I had a different experience when I was in high school. My friends, you know, my friend Zach's brother went to see you, and his sister went to see you. So we'd go up to the university. See Col- me. See you. <laughs> we'd go up to Colorado and go to their house parties, but their frat parties were like house parties. So it was like it was almost like in the movies with people hanging over the balconies, grass. There's like cups in the grass or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
it was very much like pay five bucks you can get a keg cup and then you just go in and it wasn't like who are you affiliated with like it was gang shit it was just a party Arizona was much more pretentious. It was much more like, who do you know? You know the Theta or the Pikes? You can't get in. You're like, I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. And that's what was weird when I lived with Amir. Yo, Amir was flipping fucking ounces, and then he was getting in invites to let's sell tell people, weed. Let's tell people we're in the skulls, dude. That's what we should have done. We're in the skulls. He goes, skull and crossbones. Yeah, the crew team. And he goes, you know what? what? I have we're a, Arizona. We don't have a crew team. He's like, yeah, well, whatever. It's fucking crew. Well, that's what's crazy is when I'm, Mc, on, I'm on the crew. When McDaniel would come back to Aurora, when we'd all go back for like Thanksgiving or Christmas, McDaniel was at Yale. So we were like, what the fuck is that like? And he's like, I know the Connecticut. Yeah, he's like, I know the CEO of Snapple's daughter. And we we're like, <laughs> what? It was like shit like that. So I've never been on the campus ever of Yale, but I've been in the area of Yale. And it really is just like, I feel like college, unless there, maybe there's some that are different, I guess. But like college seems to me the same way about like getting into new comedy clubs when you were a younger comic member. You'd get in, you're like, okay, I got you in this club. And then you work the club and you go, it's just four it's fucking cool. walls. They yeah. can move this thing next door and it would just be there now. I it doesn't got- matter. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't really matter. And college, I know it's like the education itself, but sure. like you think when you walk on Yale, it's going to be like a movie or something. I think you had that early on. I remember freshman year, like when I my mom dropped me off and I was there and I like walked over to like the mall they call it the mall the U of A mall and I like looked at the buildings I was like this is pretty cool this is like a college Mm -hmm. this is a college college and it was like oh fuck I'm gonna go to college here but immediately hating the social life and starting to work at radio that became my thing where I was like dude I fucking I'm in the KFMA studios like that was huge for me yeah KFMA day shout out KFMA day shout out Foxhole while we're shouting shit out by the way shout out Foxhole Big J Okerson tonight through Saturday Tacoma Comedy Club Get tickets. True. Tonight, Friday, and Saturday. Tacoma, Washington. After that, he's got dates coming up in Houston, San Francisco, Fort Wayne, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Ontario, California, and D.C. For tickets and other tour dates, visit BigJComedy.com. Doing the butt. Ow. Ow. Soda, soda. Ow. Dan Soder is all over the road, but first... He's coming home, Colorado. Yeah, baby. What's up, Denver? Get your legal weed out and come warm up with a cool cup of Dan. (laughs) That beard is tightened up and ready for Colorado living. Yeah, dude, I'm ready. You better get a Patagonia jacket. I might. I might. I might treat myself and go to REI while I'm there. You might, dude. You might. That beard should have a should have some REI equipment with it. Uh huh. He's gonna be at the Comedy Works tonight through Saturday. You know that because you got tickets already, or else you're an asshole. Damn, I love this song so much. I was bumping this in the car last night. Get it. Christine said it gives her jitters. Um, Dan's gonna be. Hollywood, California after that. San Francisco, Rhode Island, all over the place. For tickets and all tour dates, go to dansoder.com. Of course, Bonfire Merch at the bonfiremerch.com. Go get a sweatshirt, a hoodie. Go get a tank top. Go get, you know, other stuff. We should start putting stickers and shit up there. You're right. Yeah. Stickers and fucking and mugs and all the fun stuff. Ain't my type of hype. Yeah. Boom. Say mug beanie stickers. Yeah. Let's do it. I like all three of those. Jacob will be back in studio soon. I mean, we're almost back. 